All right, so the trip has started and we are officially on the road to the Atlanta airport. And things are hectic getting everything together, but we are on the road and we are going. You know, it's kind of weird. You, you have something that you look forward to and you think about for so long. And it's one of those things where it keeps you up at night when, when you're trying to go to sleep, just thinking about what the weekend might be like. And, and here we are and it's here. And I'm excited. I don't know exactly what the race day is gonna hold. I'm really hoping to qualify for Boston. Have an outside shot of going under three hours, which would just be fantastic. But ultimately, time doesn't matter. Um, Come down here to run this race for my dad, and my dad is a preacher at a church, and I convinced him to skip Sunday morning church at his own church to be at this race. So. It's a very big deal to me, and I'm just excited to reunite with that memory of him again. midnight so we've been on the road and in the air for about 12 hours but we are finally in Texas we drove to Atlanta and then we flew into San Antonio and we are here at my parents house and it's been a long day but it's been a good day too good morning it is just past seven o'clock on Friday morning I went to bed at one last night and we're up early this morning it is the last training run before the marathon, and this isn't about time, this isn't about being fast. Cramming doesn't work in marathon training, so this is all about just getting your legs loose, staying mentally sharp, and I'm only running five or six, and I'm running with my parents this morning, which will be pretty cool. We're both going to run, and I'm just going to run slow, stay loose, enjoy it, and that's it. All right, I uh, just finished. Last training run, it is incredibly muggy, um, incredibly hot here, which is cool for a winter getaway, but it's not cool if you're running a marathon. So hydration is definitely going to be key. So this is the map that my dad drew to run around the neighborhood this morning. You start here where the X marks the spot and then you come down and around and then back up. And then once you get up, look at that. And how does that make any sense at all? All right, behind us, we have the city of Austin where I will be running tomorrow. And right now we are on our way to go register. And before a marathon, you have to go register the day before and pick up your bib number and your race packet. And there's all kinds of people handing out free stuff. All right, we just registered downtown Austin. Got lots of free stuff. Most of it, it did not taste very good. I was pretty disappointed in the free stuff, but that's all right. Uh, we're number 824. We got to um, stop by the Live Strong booth and they have a little card where you can say who you're running in honor of. So I put my dad down on there. And this morning when we were running, I heard my dad talking to a neighbor and he said, hey, my son's running a marathon this weekend, which is just kind of cool. You guys are now running, right? You're in 10 miles today, which is great. Right. <clears throat> and why are you trying to run? Why have you decided to run a marathon? We haven't 100% decided we're going to watch your marathon tomorrow and make a decision after we see the marathon see tomorrow. what it's like for Sam uh -huh. here okay uh -huh. but obviously having you run marathons has inspired Donna to want to run a marathon which means we're both running so there is a, that direct influence it is the night before the marathon and we are getting ready to eat dinner and we are going to carb up like crazy 
we are gonna eat lots and lots of pasta until I'm stuffed and can't eat any more pasta. And then we're gonna let that sit overnight and wake up feeling great and have a great run tomorrow. All right, well, uh, just ate our last big meal before the big day tomorrow. I brought a little bit home with me so I can eat more right before I go to bed. But we had salad, lots of breadsticks, definitely had pasta and some chicken. So I'm feeling full right now, which is good because I'm also feeling like going to sleep, which is great when you wake up at four in the morning. It is just past 10 o'clock and we are getting ready to go to bed the night before the race. All the preparations have been taken care of. Um, we ate great. We've been drinking a lot of water. Um, color of my pee is looking good, which is a good sign of hydration. So that's a plus. And now it's just, you know, you're left alone with your thoughts. Um, you know, there's a part of me that thinks this is just about racing for my dad and the time doesn't matter. But there's also that competitive side of me that wants to do as best as I can. And, you know, I'm thinking there's somebody that I've never met before that I'll never ever meet in my life. But tomorrow they're going to be my competition and I want to be every single one of them as much as I can. First things first. Flip flops, shoes, two pairs of socks, maybe short shorts, shorts to wear over those. This has my bib, um, this orange thing that you might not be able to see right here is the timing chip that goes on your shoe to keep track of how fast you run. And then safety pins for your bib and the jerseys in the closet. Jersey. Got it printed up, nice little faded look. So, first things first, what we are going to do right now may seem a bit awkward and definitely a little bit weird, but also necessary. You may wonder why people do that, but in a marathon it's actually a very common thing um, because this is one of the areas on your body where you can chafe. And I have seen grown men bleeding. And that is something that you definitely want to avoid, especially because I've never worn that jersey before. This is an open and honest view of what it's like the day of the marathon. But if you talk to somebody else who runs marathons, they may have a completely different opinion or what to do the day of a marathon. This is just my open and honest view, and we're letting you into my world to show you what I do the day before a marathon. And one of the things that is very important to do is obviously to drink lots of water. So that's what we're going to do right now as we get ready, have water to sip on the whole morning. Right now, we are going to go pee, which also seems strange to talk about, but the color of your pee tells you if you are properly hydrated or not. So we're going to go see what the hydration level is looking like. Be right back. Not bad. A little dark, but I think we'll be okay. Just gotta keep drinking water this morning. I gotta put my short shorts on, so once again, I'm kicking you out. Also the first time I've worn these, and they're definitely short, but that's what you want if you're running a race. These right here, um, these are my energy gels. Very important. Have four of those that I want to take at miles 6, 11, 16, and 21. They're really hard to choke down and they taste pretty nasty, but they're pretty important. So you just take a swig of water and you bite the top off of this and squeeze it into your mouth and swallow it down. For me on race day, it's all about 
calming down, getting in the mental zone, and relaxing, um, and just trying to prepare yourself for what you're going to do because you're going to be running for the next three hours. Feeling good. Two and a half hours. Nothing you can do now. In between miles eight and nine, doing okay right now. In between the three, the three ten mark, feeling a little tired, but 18 more miles to go, and we're finished. 